How do we get students into Google Classroom? Well, first we're going to start off with classroom.google.com. From here you can see your class tiles and if you hover over the class tile you'll see the three dots and you can choose copy invite link. So if you copy this link it copies to your clipboard and then students can simply click on the link to join it. But of course you got to get the link to them. So if they're not already in your Google Classroom how do you get them the link? You could email it, you could put it on your class website which is what I do but that might be tricky. So otherwise, you're going to want to go into the class itself. And you'll see up here in the header of your class, it shows what the class code is. And it has this broken square. So I'm going to click on the broken square, which you'll notice displays the class code. I also have the option here to copy the invite link if I didn't catch it from the main class tiles page. Click on the broken square again to go full screen. This is my preferred method, assuming that students can't get there any other way. Usually, I start them off by going to my website, and they can click on the link and join. But if that's not how we're doing it, I have them just walk into class if we're face-to-face, -face, and I display it on the screen. So they walk in, they go to classroom.google.com, they click on the plus icon in the upper right, and they just type in the code. I actually think this is great for them to do. Why do for students what they can do for themselves? But what's really great about Google Classroom is the ability to use it for non-rostered classes. So if you're the basketball coach and you want kids to sign up for basketball, put up posters around school that says, join basketball, Google Classroom code. And that makes a quick and easy way for you to distribute information, to store information about signing up and who makes the team, as well as collecting things like permission slips or any other information that you want to pull from your players. So using it for school plays, for co-curriculars, for all kinds of things, Google Classroom is awesome. And for that, you'll want students to know how to get the Google Classroom code and add it themselves, not necessarily only from clicking on the invite link. Now there's another place that you can get this piece of information and that is by going to the settings cog in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to click on that and scroll down. Here I'm in general and it says invite codes. Under manage invite codes it says turned on and you could turn that off or you can reset it. I like to reset mine if I'm choosing to display the class code and I think in any way this would be difficult for students to enter. For example, O's, ones, L's, oh, L is the worst. Is that a one? Is that a I? I don't know what this is. And so if there's an L in there, forget it. I like to reset that code. I'm gonna close that up. So you can use this tiny drop down arrow to reset it or you can click here on the copy icon to copy the link and share it with them. Oh, here we go. Let me display this code. Here it has the ugly L. I would not use this code. No, no, no. I'm going to reset it. Oh, I don't know. It has an O. Maybe it's okay. It does say no. I just want to ask myself, is there any way a student might misinterpret it or type it in wrong? And if so, it's really easy to reset. So why not reset it until you're confident Every kid can type it in without making a mistake, a common mistake. All right, so how do you get into students into Google Classroom? You can go to the classes page. You can click on the three dots to copy the link. You can go to the class. You can get the code out of the banner or you can get it out of the settings. But there's one more way and that is to go to the people tab. So if you go to the people tab, you do have the option to add students. So it says invite students. Now here's a fun trick. You can actually copy and paste a whole group into here. So I have a list of student email addresses that I've copied to the clipboard and I control V paste. And you'll notice that it puts it as one giant block. It says add recipients. I don't have commas or anything in between here. I just click here and it's gonna separate it automatically for me so I can invite all of them at once. 
Now again, that's not my favorite way to do it. I prefer to have students do it for themselves that they either click the link or add the code. And I at least want them to know how to add it from the code. When I invite them, there's a lot of reasons why they don't get the invitation. They do have to check their email. So it's just not my favorite way to do it. But sometimes it's a great way to do it.